Hey everybody, Sid Survival Guide. Hopefully everybody is well. I wanted to take a few minutes today to talk to you about something that I have been researching. And I wish I could find more information on it, but the key to this video is for me to put the information out there and let you guys know it. Maybe you can hit me back with some information that would tell me what I am and am not able to do while on the land that I'm getting ready to bring up. So first thing I want to do is I want to show off my channel a little bit. Hopefully everybody enjoys the channel. And if you do, make sure to share it, like, subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe, tell them about it. The more people I get to come here, the more I learn. It's always better when something like that happens. So one thing that I would really like to do, and I'm going to put you in the screen so that you can see it better, is show off some of this TVA undeveloped recreational land. I am uh, looking into this area right here, and uh, let's go take a look at it. Uh, so here we go. We've got all of these purple areas right here are considered undeveloped recreation TVA posted restrictions apply. Now this right here is a location where I film most of my videos. The place is called Ish Creek. Now if you zoom in, it goes away, so it's really hard to... It's really hard to keep that up on the screen, but if you notice, look how many areas that we have to actually spend time. Now, <clears throat> this right here is, is another area where I'm really close to here, but this is more of a, there's, there's quite a few people that live here, and this road right here, I'm not sure if I would have to go through someone's property to get there. So, I would probably hit this place and all of these places I can hit with a with a kayak. If I can get me a kayak, I can hit every one of these places and go to them. Follow the river down. You don't have a whole lot more until you get right here. This is the Holston Cemetery Road. I'm going to go check this out. I know exactly where it's at. We might do a trip down there if you guys want. But the thing about it is, is if you look up, let's see if we can find the, the links here. The TVA. Oh, TVS. TVA undeveloped land map. Now we're going to go right here to the public lands. Okay, now, right here we've got recreational and undeveloped TVA public lands. I'm going to go ahead and read this to you. The United States of America owns and the TVA manages nearly 293,000 acres of land of valley wide TVA public lands. As part of our mission to service, much of this is undeveloped land, meaning just that wild land available for informal recreation, free from modern facilities. Popular activities on these lands include hunting, hiking, bird watching, camping, and other informal pursuits. As interactive, many. Our interactive map, link below, shows undeveloped recreation areas near you. The map is intended as a guide only. Its content is subject to change without notice. The lands depicted are generally open to the public. However, public use restrictions may apply due to public safety or to protect threatened and endangered species or unique natural features, and land may be temporarily closed due to specific management activities. The map should not be interpreted as representing legal property boundaries. TVA is not liable for any improper or incorrect use of this map for any indirect or indirect damages suffered related to the use of this map. <sighs> All right, so... Now, most of the rules, like right here, we'll go check the rules out. So, the United States of America, blah, 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 that's the same thing that we just seen, trash and litter. Leaving trash or litter on TVA property is prohibited. Anything determined to be trash or litter in TVA sole discretion is subject to immediate disposal. Charges may apply. Vegetation, obviously, cutting, damage, pulling, or driving nails into trees, shrubs, or other vegetation is prohibited. Violators will be subject to all costs associated with property damage, including the value of the damaged vegetation and the cost of restored vegetation. Hanging lanterns on trees is prohibited. The heat from the lantern will cause damage to and potentially kill a tree. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that was a thing. I, it's not something I've done, but I didn't know it. TVA has no objection to the collection of non-poisonous mushrooms, berries, fruits, and nuts, or personal non-commercial use. TVA does not require a permit for the collection of these resources, ground disturbance, or removal of the entire plant except mushrooms associated with this activity is prohibited. Campfires are prohibited in all caves, including within 200 feet from the cave entrance. Obey all fire restrictions. Do not leave campfires unattended. Campers are responsible for keeping fires under control. Fires may be limited or prohibited at certain times. Campfires must be completely extinguished before leaving the area. Campers are encouraged to buy local firewood to minimize the spread of invasive species. Please check such site. Cutting live or standard trees, standing trees on TVA property for firewood or other use is prohibited. I will only be using either dead, this is cutting live or standing trees. So right there, I guess that right there changes it. I will not be cutting any trees down, even if they are dead. It is standing. I guess it is not my responsibility. And my question is, is who do I get in touch with in order to, to have the ability to do that to the land? Because I would like to properly manage the areas that I want to go. All right, TVA property fire, whatever the use is prohibited. Caves. I'm not going to read caves because I'm not going to mess with caves. Land disturbing of, and other areas. Construction of temporary or permanent structures on TVA property without approval or that is not otherwise regulated is prohibited. Unapproved structures will be subject to immediate removal and disposal at TVA's sole discretion. Charges may apply. Again, I need some, to get a hold of somebody. I need somebody to let me know if it's okay to take the wood that's laying on the ground and strap it up and, and hang out under it when we're camping. The excavation, removal, damage, alteration, invasion of federal property, including but 
Not limited to science, kiosks, fences, downtown markets, or vehicle barriers is prohibited. Violators will be subject to all costs with property damage. Any activity affecting archaeological resources is felony offense and is prohibited by federal law. The operation or use of any noise producing device in such a manner as to unreasonably disturb, annoy, or endanger other species is prohibited. Now, there's a link to stay stay on the undeveloped TVA public lands are limited to a maximum of 14 consecutive days within any 30 day period. Unless otherwise posted, after 14 days, users must move at least one river mile before reestablishing a site. All personal property, including but not limited to vehicles and vessels, on TVA property after 14 days. After 14 days, stay limit are subject to impoundment and or immediate removal of TVA social discretion charge may apply. Vehicle use, I'm not going to read it. I'm going to using vehicles because I'm uh, probably be using a, uh, I'm probably using a kayak or canoe, you know. I would like for that to be a thing. And the drones and other, I'm not going to read that right now because I don't have a drone. I don't have any way to use them. Um, I don't have money to buy one. So it's probably going to be a future thing. Hunting and firearms and alcohol. Alcohol is not a concern. Don't drink. Firearms, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to carry a firearm because I'm a felon. So no concerns there. Hunting, I can use a pellet gun that can kill a squirrel, and I do plan on taking my son and teaching him how to hunt, clean, and cook squirrel. Hopefully over a fire, I know you have to do a lot of stuff to it, but hunting and fishing are permitted on undeveloped TVA public lands in accordance with applicable federal, state, and local laws, rules, and regulations, otherwise posted. Please note, however, that hunting is prohibited on, all, on other TVA lands, such as TVA dam reservations, power plant reservations, power substations, developed or recreation areas, such as campgrounds and day-use areas, unless otherwise posted. Possession, use of firearms, and other weapons are permissible on undeveloped TVA public lands, subject to all applicable federal, state, and local laws, rules, and regulations, and otherwise posted. If there is conflict between federal rules, laws, and other laws, federal rules, laws prevail. Consumption of alcohol on undeveloped TVA public lands is governed by applicable federal, state, and local laws, rules, and regulations, otherwise posted. There you go. So we've now moved into the rules for the developed lands. And if you want to know any more about this stuff, all this information is going to be in the link, <clears throat> in, in, in a link below. I would just like to know. What my limits are. What are the things that I'm allowed to do? Am I allowed to take the old sticks that are laying around and lash them up and, and, and put a tarp over it? I'm not looking to make an entire cabin. I just want to build a fort frame and throw a tarp up and maybe leave it for a couple of days. Or maybe just leave the fort frame up, take the tarp away every time. That would be convenient. But if anybody, any of you guys got any information on it, if you're okay, let me know. Um, let's close this down. Take one more look at this. Look at this. Look at all this beautiful bean footage right here. You know what I mean? Look, right here is dam reservation, no hunting camp only in designated areas. This is a beautiful place that we can go camp. I cannot build things and stuff, but that doesn't matter to me. We can go here and we can camp. It's about 45 minute, 30 minute drive, but we can do it. All right, let's get out of this. Okay, so now that we have looked at all the land and we have looked through what it says, the information on the website about what we're allowed to do and what, and what, and what we're allowed to do, we're allowed to, we're allowed to, we're allowed to do, do, do on registered undeveloped land. I don't plan on doing any hunting initially or anything like that, no trapping. My plans are to fish, get there, over there with a canoe and a kayak, take the kids to, to this island right here and hopefully do some, some fishing and some camping. What I wanna do is I wanna have some privacy away from people so that I can record and I'm not inserting myself into other people's lives while recording, I don't wanna do that. And uh, as you can tell, I have done a ton of reading on this and I would really, really, really like to hone in on the information that's important. I would like to build some shelters and all of it would be out of dead wood. No trees would be cut down that are living. I would not be driving any nails using any screws. What I would like to do is just take a hand auger and drill some holes in wood and make everything peg. And with that being said, like a lashing, I want to be able to use some type of lashing that's biodegradable, environmentally friendly, whether it be paracord or it be a uh, bank line. You know, you got, you've got a couple different options. You got some bank line, but it's covered in tar. So that's kind of questionable in my opinion. And you've got, uh, you got right here, we got 50 foot of one eighth paracord. And we've got some right here. We got several different kinds of lashings that we can use to build the shelters, but I would really, really love to do that. And I don't own property. So if you guys know anything or know someone that does, if you could send them my way to answer these questions that I'd like to build just a, a small shelter that someone could go camp in overnight, big enough for a couple sleeping bags. If you guys figure it out or anything else that I can't find, please let me know. All of this information is going to be in the description. And like I said, hopefully everybody enjoys the videos. And if you do, make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment. I don't know. Tell everybody. I would love to, to be able to do things like this for a living. And the more people you tell, the greater that chance is. So, like I said, hopefully everybody loves the videos. Because I enjoy having you here. Sid Survival Guide.